What's up, y'all? It's your big brother, Tran G, at you once again with another exclusive video. Divine powers are always working for us because we do right. Even as I'm laying here in this bed, divine powers is working for me. I know this to be true. What about you? Ain't you seeing divine powers work in your life? For those of y'all who've been following me for all these years, I'm pretty sure at this point that affirmation is working in your life. Like, you literally see divine powers working in your life listen man listen i just woke up and i had this it was the first thought to come to my mind this morning as soon as i woke up listen man people i'm gonna tell you man listen people people want to throw shade but you at a point right you should be at a point right now on your journey that if they do throw this shade at you if they do low-key dish you, okay, if they try to do anything to you to try to hurt your feelings or to try to make you upset or try to throw you off your game or make you think that you ain't the chosen one, that it shouldn't be able to affect you at this point because you already got it made. See, I'm going to tell you, that's something that these Decepticons don't understand. Right, these Decepticons, most of these, most of the people that you come in contact with on a regular basis every single day, they sleep, y'all. They sleep. I don't know how much I gotta stress this. Listen, we living in a society nowadays where mostly every everybody, it ain't just, it ain't like, it ain't like eighty percent. It ain't like ninety percent. It's like ninety nine point nine percent of people is mentally programmed. They stuck on Instagram. They live in the Instagram. Most of the girls nowadays live in the Instagram fairy tale. They, they Instagram famous, but don't nobody know their ass in real life. Don't nobody know them in real life. Man, I was at the I, I went out to this spot last night in um Houston, Texas, man. I went to this spot last night. The this place just turned me totally off. I mean, I, I love Houston. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love Houston all day. Like, I, that's why I'm going to be out here for a few more days. All right? Because it's, it's dope. I love it. But I went to this spot, yo. It was packed. The line was packed. You know what I mean? I was at the back of the line. Like, I normally don't stand in the line. I normally skip everybody. But I said, you know what? I'm going to just be a normal person. I ain't going to use my money to get me in the club. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, it wasn't, that, that's, it wasn't really a club, though. It was more like a lounge type. I'm going to tell you what I seen. Listen, listen. So I actually get in there, and, like, it's like it's like 30 to 1. It's like 30 girls to every one guy. So I'm looking around at all these girls. It's like when I looked at, all, like, I'm in, this, I'm in this spot chilling, you know, about to get me a uh, drink or whatever. I'm in this spot chilling at the, at the uh, standing beside the bar, like, uh, behind a whole lot of people. About to get me a drink. And I'm just looking around. I'm just like, damn, it's like everybody is a photocopy of each other. Like it just like it just really just hit me like in that moment. Like, I'm like, yo, everybody is a clone. Like every like, look at all these girls. Like, look at all these, they all dress alike. They all look the same. Like, who's different? You know what I mean? And so I ain't even think about it. I ain't think no more about it, man. I actually, I actually got my drink. Guzzled it down real quick, and I got the hell up out of there because it wasn't even my vibe. But I'm saying that to say this, yo. I'm saying it to say this, man. It ain't too many chosen ones out here, okay? You are a rare breed. You a rare case. That's why you. That's why you tripping so much. That's why you tripping so much nowadays. Like, yo, is this just me or is these people slow? They slow. I'm talking about they are mentally programmed. Y'all gotta really understand what's going on out here, man. You the chosen one. You the star C. You get to constantly co-create your own reality. Meaning, you know how life works. You know how the universe work. You have been endowed with a special knowledge. You know, like an extraterrestrial infinite intelligence. Okay? Knowledge to be able to like know how to operate in life to where you can actually create it the way you want it. <laughs> what they do that at? Man, these people don't know how to do shit like that. Professors don't even know how to teach nothing like that. They might got a PhD or master's degree or whatever degree, but they don't know how to do no shit like that. Pastors, pastors, 
counselors don't know how to teach you nothing like that. Counselors don't know how to counsel you on nothing like that. Listen. It's your big brother trend. Listen. And I'm going to tell you, since, since you, I'm telling you, people can feel your energy everywhere you go. Like all the thoughts that you think, all the thoughts that you think in your head, all of this all of these thoughts that you that's running through your mind, some of y'all got really deep thoughts. I'll be listening to some of y'all when y'all call me on the phone. Y'all be saying how y'all how y'all went to a different world in your dream and you you love you switched consciousness and came back to a parallel reality. Like when y'all be telling me this stuff, y'all gotta understand them same thoughts when you go out places, when you them same thoughts when you go out places, people can see these thoughts through energy. OK, your thoughts are projected on the screen of space in reality and people can see these thoughts through energy. That's why most people, when they come in contact with you or when you get in contact with other people, that's why they that's why they try to shade you or they try to look down on you or they try to belittle you. Because I'm telling you, they can sense that specialness about you. They can sense that anointingness, that covering over you. They sense it's something extraterrestrial about you. And it really, it just fucking just brings out their demons, man. It, they don't like it. These people, remember, they Decepticons. Y'all seen Transformers? The Decepticons was against the other, the other team. You know what I'm saying? They didn't like them just because they just didn't like them. You feel me? And so that just that's just the way it is. Y'all gotta understand. That's why you gotta listen. That's why I'm saying if you if you stay on your purpose, if you focus on your purpose, listen, you focus on your purpose, all right? You whatever you got going on, your business, okay, whatever you co-creating, if you stay focused on that and you continue to become a greater person, you continue to become a greater version every day after day. You got self-love to the point that you don't really need to depend on nobody else. Listen. When they try to throw shade at you, it ain't going to matter because you already done made it. Fellas, girls going to try to throw shade on you because they confused. They lost. So when they see that you found yourself, bro, they going to try to throw shade on you just because they, they think that you they think that you're going to always be chasing them. That's what they think. They think that you got to chase them because they they pro they mentally programmed to think like that because they used to being with beta males who just suck up to them and just do everything for them. But, but they'll never get married. They'll never meet the real one because they they not they not ready to be submissive yet. They not they not ready to be they not ready to be cool, calm, collective, and polite. They too aggressive. They too aggressive. They men and women. They blocking. They blocking their own blessings, fellas. You know what I mean? And to my star see women out there, y'all lucky. I told y'all it ain't it ain't that many of y'all out there. Y'all already got to deal with this, even with y'all friends. Half of y'all don't even got half of y'all don't even got friends because of this shit. Okay? Because you chose to cost, constantly co-create your own reality. You awakened to who you truly were. And most of y'all don't lost all your friends, or either they done did y'all wrong, or they don't walked out on y'all, or they done got jealous on y'all and then did some crazy shit that you didn't approve of. But listen, it ain't no greater. Listen, man. I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. Let me get up because I gotta stand up. Listen. It ain't no, listen, it ain't no greater feeling in the world. It ain't no greater feeling in the world than, than to know that if somebody try to throw shade on you, if somebody try to shade you, you already got it made. They, they, them throwing shade, it should have no effect on you. It shouldn't have no effect on your life and what you got going on. They just losing out. They missing out. They think like I'm telling I'm telling you, I be, I see this shit all the time. Y'all think people don't throw shade on me just because I'm big trendy? People try to throw shade on me all the time, but I look at this shit like it's petty. You know what I mean? I look at it because I'm, I'm like, yo, I don't like, dude, I'm, I'm on a whole nother level from your ass. I don't even know why you even throwing shade. Why? You Can you even afford to throw shade? Can you even afford it? Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm eating filet mignon and shit nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating uh, calamari and filet mignon and lobsters and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, do, do, do you even know what that is? Do you know how tender that shit is? With banana, with fried bananas on the side? Do you even eat like that? But you gonna throw shade on me? Huh? Where you do that at? And you still, you gonna throw shade on me and you still eating, um... Uh, 
ham sandwiches? <laughs> I'm telling you, no, nah, I'm, I'm joking, but I'm serious, though. Listen, the knocking on wood, listen, the best feeling in the world, man, is when people try to get up under your skin or they think that they actually get into you, but it's not because you don't already made it. It's too late. It's too late. Hate me, love me, it don't matter. When you got your shit together, no matter if they throw shade or not, it's too late. You already done made it. You already done made it. And listen, here's another thing I want to let you go with. Listen, here's another thing. If you ain't got people that's doing that to you, if you ain't got people that's throwing shade at you, if you ain't got people that's hating on you for no reason, okay, for no reason, okay, that's when you know you're doing something. If you got, if you got people that's hating on you for no reason at all, you've done them no harm. You had no ill intention to do them wrong. They just automatically just fucking flipped. Like cuckoo flipped. If you know you got people like that around you, then, then that what that means is you actually are making it. Okay? You actually are doing something. You actually are doing something special. I'm telling y'all, man, it's for real. Listen, we live in a society nowadays where it's based on material gains. Everybody just want to be a fucking star seed. They can't. So when a, a real star seed like yourself finally get around, it's automatic shade going to be thrown at you because you who they want to be. They, you got that positive energy that's floating around you. You got orbs and shit be following you. Angel guys be with you. You tap into that universal divine power. Synchronicities be happening. Repeating numbers. You in there. Comment below and say I'm in there. Trans genius. I'm connected to the source, boo. You feel me? When they, when they, when you finally come around with that energy, oh, it's contagious. But I'm telling you, at the same time, it makes a lot of people jealous. It makes a lot of people envious. I'm telling you, a lot of people going to act funny, man. They're going to act funny towards you. You going to see, and the thing about that dumb ass shit that they be doing, the thing about it, they don't even think that you, you detecting it. <laughs> They think that they actually like getting away with it. Like, oh, shit, oh, you know, they ain't even gonna know that, you know, I'm throwing this shade, but I don't like them. I don't like them. I know you don't like me. I, it's obvious. It's the way you communicate. I know you don't like me. You a Decepticon. You a Decepticon. You a damn Decepticon. It's obvious. You know, y'all ain't the smartest. So, yeah, the things that the Decepticons do, they think that they smart, but it's really dumb. It's really kind of like, obvious it's like right in plain sight they'll say they like you but then they'll go turn they then the more they'll do some shit that you be like what the, why did why did she even do that like she throwing shade bro she don't figure out who you was and she know you were star seed she see that you be constantly co-creating your own reality she didn't like that she didn't like that i'm telling you ain't nobody exempt from this shit y'all ain't nobody exempt from it guys ain't exempt from the haters being a hater the women ain't exempt from being a hater Fellas, y'all probably wonder why you, you probably wonder like, okay, why, look, why is it so hard? Okay, ask, ask me, answer this question for me, fellas. Why is it so hard for you to link up with other fellas and y'all both be on y'all same purpose or y'all both working on a purpose? Why do you think people, why do you think people would treat you like that? Why do you think other guys be, be acting like, damn, I don't even want to connect with old bruh because I don't want to connect with bruh because his business is like it's prospering more than mine. I, ain't, I don't even like that, man. I'm good. Like, nah, man, I'll call you, man. That nigga don't never call. Don't never call you. Say he gonna call you. Say he gonna link up with you. Y'all gonna do this. Y'all gonna shoot it up, wrap it up, woo-de-woo. -woo. Don't never call you. Why? Because I'm telling you, he done tapped in. He done seen what you do. He automatically acting like a Decepticon like everybody else. He 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 looking at what you done accomplished, and he automatically think that you better than him. So he want to throw some shade on you by, like, not even linking up with you. Thinking that it's really gonna affect you or it's gonna hurt you or it's gonna make you feel. That's what people would, that's what they want you to think, yo. This topic got me fired up this morning. I'm glad I recorded this video. Listen, this got me fired up. That's what they want y'all to think. They wanna, they want you to think that their absence is phasing you. Honey, please. You feel me? It just making you, it just making you see they fakeness. Okay? Because I'm gonna tell you what the universe gonna do. As soon as the universe let one person go, the universe is going to bring four, five more people that's better than that person into your life. I don't care how many men you done lost. I don't give a damn. Let them go. Holla. See you later, alligator. Let them go. 
Because I'm telling you, if you a chosen one, the universe going to bring you four, five more options. Like, hey, I got something that's, you don't like that? Oh, the universe is your maid. Some of y'all don't be understanding the divine power is working for you. I keep saying it. The universe is working for you. It's never working against you. I was just talking to my homeboy yesterday, man. And he was telling me, he was like, yo, big brother trend, bro. Like, for a long time, man, I was always thinking that the universe was working against me. Like, I thought people was following me. You know, people was out to get me, da-da-da, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, bro, it was like, when I watched your video, bro, and I, and I heard you say the universe working for you, he was like, bro, the moment I started changing my perception and to, and to start thinking that, bro... Everything started happening for me. Everything started coming to me. Nothing, even what I lost, came back better, greater, more improved. That's what I'm telling y'all. Listen, it don't matter how many people leave you, yo. It don't matter how many people try to shade you or do you dirty. The universe is going to bring better people in your life that's better than them. And the people that left you, they're going to be looking somewhere stupid, still stuck, still struggling. Like, damn, I thought they needed me. No, they don't. You don't need them. You don't need, you don't need nobody. That's what people want you to think. People want you to be in dependency on them. Like, yeah, you, I got a car. You ain't got one. <laughs> you gonna call me again? Because you need me. Nigga, I don't need your damn car. I'll walk. I'll ride the bus. I'll get an Uber, a Lyft. Tell them that. I'm telling you, they want you to, oh, yeah, you stay with me. You stay with me. You, you stay with me. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, that business ain't gonna work because you staying with me. Huh? But I help you pay your bills, though. You can't even pay your own damn bills. Huh? Huh? You need money from me while I'm staying with you, though. You ain't got it. You ain't, because you ain't got it. You need me. Comment below and say, they need me, big brother, trend genius. They need you. But I'm telling you, they don't want you to know that. That's why they throw shade at you. They don't want you to know. See, they need you on a deeper perspective than what you think they need. Okay? You might think that they trying to get money out of you. Okay? You know what I mean? You might you might think that they just trying to hit it or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm trying to hit it. I'm just trying to hit it. You might think that that's what it is. Okay? You might think that, you might think that, you know, you just, your friend is just your friend because she just needs you to be your friend. No, I'm telling you, this is all about energy. Energy. The whole world is based on energy. Everything is vibrating and oscillating. And you are oscillating at this rate. At this rate nowadays, you ain't you ain't down here like you used to be when you was asleep. You didn't know what the hell was going on. Wasn't nothing moving in your life. When no no universe was working for you. You didn't know your big brother trans genius. Nothing was going right. But now you up here, you up here, you gotta understand that you are the prize. Everybody is out to get you, but they not trying to get you for what you think they trying to get from you. They trying to get your energy so they can take it and they can use it to build their life. Don't give it to them. Keep it to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't give it to them. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. If you do get in ties with other people that you know is some Decepticons, if you do have a tie with somebody like that or something like that, just get what you can get from them and then don't take it seriously. Get out your damn feelings. Some of y'all be into y'all feelings so much. Like, why, why is this, why is why he didn't say bye when he left? So what? Shit. He gone. Let him go. You should be happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Hey, hey look, man. I, I'm, I'm free now. I'm free. I mean, he, you supposed to gave me a kiss when you got a, what you mad at? You supposed to gave me a kiss when you got out the car, when I got a car. You, that shit happened yesterday. I don't care. I just needed a kiss. Get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. Stay in your vibration. Stay in your light. Stay in your aura. You know what I mean? I told you, listen. If they, if they throw shade, it don't matter because you already got it made. They don't know you got it made. So it shouldn't even phase you no more when people be throwing this shade at you. When they be, uh, you know, throwing this toxic energy at you. It shouldn't even phase you no more. You, you should be just like, yo, that's your loss. I mean, that's just your loss. I mean, I'm already good. I'm Gucci. You know what I mean? You making money now. You leveled up. You're on a different level. You vibrating. 
It's going to be a good day today. Everything works for you. The universe is on your side. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. Y'all don't got me turned up this morning, Star Seeds. If this video resonated with your spirit, do me a favor. Leave a comment. Just say anything below. I want to hear from you today. All right? I'll be reading all y'all comments. Y'all don't think I do, but I'll be reading all y'all comments. Leave your big brother, Trend G, something below so I can read today. And get this video a thumbs up if it resonates with your spirit. Do people be throwing shade at you? And they don't even realize you already got it made. <laughs> Where they do that at? They better wake up. Hello. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. It's your big brother, Tran G. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.